Okay, I think you guys are ready for Saturday night concerts, right? Okay, well, my group has a great, uh, what are we doing? Oh, yes, we're doing a show, a show in store for you guys. But first, just a couple of reminders because we're doing something a little bit different. So, especially you guys here in front, man, you are going to get the action. But can we silence our cell phones, please? I know, I know, it's kind of loud, but we have some really quiet parts in the show. So if you guys silence the cell phones, that would be really appreciated. Awesome. All right, who else has it done? Let me see. Woo! Thank you, guys. All right. Now, you might want to leave them on, however, because we are doing a photo contest. And we are giving away the download for both of our EPs for the photos that we select. We're going to do three categories. Hideo action, so the best action shot. We've got some gunfights, some sword fights, some fist fights. All sorts of really good fights. So if you catch a really good picture of that, you could get a digital copy. We also have Hideo Drama, so the best dramatic shot for the evening. And lastly, Hideo Show, which will kind of be just a general catch-all category. And you can go to our website, our Twitter, our Facebook for the rules. It's HideoConcert.com, and we will have everything up there. You can submit your photos until Monday. So take all the pictures you want, edit them, download them, and then submit them before noon on Monday, and you can catch all the rules online. So, with that said, are we ready to start? <laughs> All right, then, with pleasure, let me welcome you to Hideo's world, where music always tells a story. A gun for hire searches for her brother, a bartender searches for absolution, and the bar they work for offers refuge to those who need it most. Actually, I think these musicians work there. Hey, guys. <laughs> Found another flyer up the road. Where's Felix? Damn it. What's taking him so long? Felix? It's somebody else. Quick, play something.
that before. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> At the Shiny Mug, we play only the best music from the best times. Music that deserves to be heard, paid tribute by performers who are passionate about it. We've also got rooms for rent, an ale for hardly anything, and the hottest bartender around. <laughs> so come on down to the best tavern in the province and have a great time, guaranteed. That was some big talk. It's tacky, I know. I'm supposed to read it to future customers. Don't you all work at the shiny mug? What are you doing outside of town? Oh, we come out here to bring in customers. You meet a lot of people at night, do you? Well, we met you, didn't we? Another musician. What did you find? A uh, customer, remember? Future customer. That's great, Felix. You can put your copy of the customer message away now. <laughs> a busy night. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, uh, maybe you can help me, if you're willing. I need to get a message to a shiny mug employee. A girl named Mari? You know Mari? Do you? Hey, uh, that customer message of yours, can I use it? Oh, <laughs> here. He's mine. <laughs> Thanks. It's a big help. The less time I spend in town, the better. <laughs> you an outlaw? That's not a very polite question. Twice. I mean, if it's too much hassle... Oh, no. It's, it's no hassle. We were headed back that way anyway. <sighs> Bravo. Oh, and, uh, friend? For your troubles? Uh, thanks. <laughs> we're late. The boss is going to kill us. We better close the bar early tonight, just to be safe. Mari's the one working. Chances are, she already closed up.
forgetting something. Score is me 11. No, 12. Uh, we'll call it 11. Score is me 11. Everybody else, zero. Stick to music, guys. All right. Who's having a shot with me? We're closed. Is that some kind of joke? You hear that, everyone? That's the sound of our night going to shit. <laughs> Always good to see you, boss. Forget your key? What are you all doing in the kitchen? Why did you close early again? For band practice. That, and I'm not feeling well. I've got, like, a tickle. And if I'm not careful, it's going to end up a full-blown cough. And I didn't want to take a day off since I'm the only one who does Just anything around stop. here. Just stop. Have you seen Lee or Felix? No, why? Get up. Never mind. Just start cleaning. Uh, it's always like this back here. Then it's time to start treating this place better. And our customers, too. <sighs> if this is about yesterday. Oh, you mean when you dumped an entire pitcher of Spice Berry Special on someone's head? Do you have any idea how much that stuff burns? I got it on my balls once, and let me tell you. Actually, it's really important you not say anything else about that. Look, the guy was talking shit about Carnes. And? Carnes is my friend, too. And just because I serve people their drinks doesn't mean I have to take their crap like Rebecca did. You should learn a lot from her. You're not exactly overqualified for this job. You hired me to be a bouncer, not a bartender. It's not my fault that she decided to take a leave of absence right before I showed up. Listen, I paid for you to come all the way out here from Scythia Province because our mutual friend says you can handle people. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. That's why I hired you. I know you only moved out here for personal reasons, but you still have a job to do. At least you're done bartending. What do you mean, done? You forgot Rebecca's getting back tonight, didn't you? Of course, if it's not all about you, who cares, right? She's back on the clock tomorrow. And Officer Carnes? He'll be back, too. You did not tell me about that. Actually, I read you their entire message. Well, you still haven't explained why Rebecca left in the first place. People don't just drop everything and disappear for weeks without a good reason. Or how about He's the only lawman in 20 miles, and he leaves town anyway to escort her back. Fine. You want to know what happened? Let's just tell the whole world about it. It's because of Hideo. Who's Hideo? All right. Pay attention this time. Long time ago, young, bright future, prodigal son, Officer Hideo, gave up everything and went AWOL to hunt the man who murdered his friend. He ended up in that northern city, Blackwell, and he met some girl there, but he had to leave her behind thanks to his little quest. What was her name? Rhina? Rhino. Not Rhino. Uh, Rainy? No, it was... <laughs> Rhino! Slow down! <sighs> I told you I would beat you here. You're slow, you know that? I let you in, obviously. Shut up and kiss me. <sighs> I wish I could stay, but someone has to stop the killing or else. I know. I wanted to give you something. Will you give me a minute? <laughs> <laughs>
only Hideo had stayed in Blackwell, but instead, the criminal Hideo was chasing found out about Rena and killed him. Sounds like some old story. But what do a rogue enforcer and his dead girlfriend have to do with Rebecca? It's about time, Lee. Did you find any more? Lots more. Oh, Mari, somebody gave me this to give to you. Well, lost it. Oh, there it is. Lee, would you get over here already? Ugh, boss, do we have to take the sign next time? If you're going out there, you might as well advertise. Well, hopefully this is you, Jay. Mari, I got the information on your brother. I'll be waiting by the West Town Road until midnight. I'm not exactly welcome in town. Be here alone by midnight or the meeting's off. Jay. I didn't say stop cleaning. You know something? You're right. I haven't been doing the best I could around here. I'm gonna get better though. In fact, boss, I just have to step out for a minute, but I guarantee I'm gonna have this place spotless by tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, are you kissing my ass right now? Is that what's happening? Okay. You're not leaving. We're meeting Rebecca and Carnes here. I'll only be gone an hour, please, boss. You already took time from me when you closed early. Now do your job, or else you won't have one. Oh, and good luck finding another one around here. All right. The truth is, it's not safe for Rebecca and Carnes to just go home. Take a look. Someone's after her? That's why you sent Carnes. The fewer who know about the bounty, the better. So we've been taking down as many as we can find. Well, who posted them? When? Don't know who. They started going up maybe a week after she left. It's got to be connected to what happened with Hideo. We're going to sort all this out, even if it is nearly midnight. You can go in a couple hours. All right, the hell is all that shooting? Probably just a party. Hello, you're out west now. No one can afford to just waste ammo partying. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a look. Not exactly overqualified for that job, are you? <sighs> Asshole. Keep tidying up. And why don't you make some sandwiches? Or some fruit salad or something. You were happy a second ago. What was in that message? Do you remember what I told you about my brother? Brian, right? You came out west to be closer to him. To find him. To fix the things I screwed up. And this other guy, Jay, he was supposed to tell me. But not anymore. Now that I'm stuck here. <sighs> so much for step one. Rebecca and Carnes! Ah, did we lose the shooter? I sure hope you did. Someone get the med kit. Cupcake, keep your hand there. What does it look like I'm doing? Clear the table! Yeah, what happened? Someone's trying to cash in on Rebecca. Probably some outlaws. Not some boss, just one. I saw him. Not now. Hey, you know how to stitch, right? Street smart traveler like you? It's been a while. Run, Pigsville, drinking such a Tuesday at all! Carnes! No one shoots an officer, the enforcer corps, and gets away with it. They just brought down the thunder, goddammit! Enough already. Mari's gonna fix you up. I'm gonna go watch outside. Welcome back, Rebecca! Knock it off! But we always play Rebecca's favorite song when she gets back from vacation. Are, are you serious? Save your little traditions for later. No, wait, you can't shoot a damn since you lost your eye. Give him something for the pain. No, God damn it! You can't go back out there without... <laughs> what the hell was that? Took care of the pain, didn't it? And he's calm. You better not use that on customers. <laughs> Only if they piss me off. All right, I'm going back out there to try and change their minds about taking Rebecca. Any volunteers? Oh, good, Lee and Felix. 
The specials. Maybe I should go with you. Just worry about Karnth. Actually, Mari, I tell you what. I'll make you a deal. Just take care of the bar while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and actually, try to keep my niece alive, too, if you can. And if you do both, I'll talk to some people about finding your brother. I like the sound of that. Let's go, Felix. <laughs> no big deal, Mari. We've held off outlaws before. Okay, we'll set up down the road. Come on, Felix. All right, now shoot straight. We've only got about 30 rounds. Wait! Wait. Did, did we have more guns? Take this. Recover! Not bad. Well, like Karn says, simple tactics go a long way. <laughs> sure worked out for you, huh, buddy? Okay, hang on. No more guns, though? How else can I help? Just tell me what to do! You're my bartender, Cupcake. Just have a drink ready when I get back. You better not get hurt! Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Give up already. Ah. Had about enough. Thank you. 
blankets, Rebecca. You're both fired. Oh, hell with that. Ah! 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 Carnes mentioned you. Mari, right? I'm Rebecca. So it's not Cupcake after all. Oh, only my uncle calls me that. Irritates the crap out of me. Mm, slap him in the face next time. He just does it because he cares. So you're the new bouncer? I was gonna be, until you ditched your job. Since then, I've been stuck filling in for you. It's been buckets of fun. Just buckets. Sorry. Not helping. <sighs> I, I'm sorry, sorry. I was just wondering, how is he doing? Well, he's lost a good amount of blood. Good, good. Wait, like good as in not bad, or good as in a lot. Oh shit, shit, shit! Stay away from the window. Oh, okay. <sighs> sorry. Relax, he's gonna be fine. Okay. he doesn't get stabbed in the eye. Tonight was my first time getting shot at. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Enough with the sorries. When Carnes wakes up, it's gonna feel like the worst hangover he's ever had. If you wanna help, make him a contact. Coming right up. I heard you left town because of some enforcer. Tadeo. His girlfriend was dead, and he was after someone. What did he do to you? Tadeo didn't do anything to me. He was after Elric for murder and for stockpiling weapons. Did Hideo catch him? Yes, he did. Tell me something, Mari. Have you ever been in a situation where people or someone needed your help? There was nothing you could do? Maybe because they didn't even really want your help. Or because they thought they were beyond help. Yes. Pants on that! Oh. 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 oh, I feel uh, like... Hungover? I feel like I just got shot in the head! Well, careful. Where's the boss? Not sure. Oh. Oh, Rebecca, it's good to see you're still alive. Oh. Now, be a dear and go get the bag I keep under the loose floorboards of room five. Got it. Glad she's holding up all right. You're the one who got shot. Yeah, as long as they didn't mess up my pretty face. <laughs> oh, and uh, no more drug in me or I'm going to have to arrest you. Good to see you, Carnes. Yeah. Hell of a trip. You know, Rebecca got herself a price on her head while she was away. I know that. But what was the trip actually about? Everyone keeps fencing with me. Tadeo and Elric. Fine. Tadeo was after Elric. He caught Elric. So what? Why did that make Rebecca leave? And how did she end up with a price on her head? Things are different since the war. All we've got is each other. Listen, Elric. I don't care what you did. Here to listen. We talked all night. We got to know each other. Elric was just another customer to her. She had no idea he was a murderer. Until Hideo showed up. You're under arrest, Elric. You don't have to fight. Just let me help you. I'm not going anywhere with him. Then you'll die right here. For Reyna.
And Rebecca went to testify about what happened at the divorce her office. She reckoned she felt guilty over how the fight went down. And as for the price on her head? He told her where the safe house is. Weapons, ammo, supplies. Probably worth a fortune. That's why someone's after her. They want that safe house. She never should have left. She didn't even consider what would happen if word got out. Or she didn't care. Yeah, she risked it because to her, even a bastard like Elric deserved to be remembered for who he really was. You know, the fact is, the last person ought to be talking about the way she's acting. Criticizing her. What, giving your brother and all? What does he have to do with this? Oh, come on, Mari. Well, you told me how badly you want to see him. Well, you left home without knowing if he was even going to talk to you. You ever consider what might go wrong? The fact is, neither one of y'all have a goddamn shred of patience. At least Rebecca's not just thinking of herself. Heaviest thing ever. Uh, swords against guns? Skills against savagery, my friend. He's, he's right on top of us, Karn. I, I, I think I slowed him down, but only barely. This guy, he's good. All right, then let me just, oh. Let me just lean right here. Just one minute. All right, God, that's it. Everyone upstairs. I'll take care of this. But... This is why you hired me. Leave it to me, Cupcake. Cupcake? Yeah, come on! Okay, we'll be in room one. But you, room five, under the floorboards. Safe for now. Okay. Hey, Mari. Yeah? Good luck. Thanks, boss. This is a hell of a mess you've made. Now go before I get stuck with your job forever. Run away. But I, I just... Now. Outside. Bang! No! God, Mari. Not funny. Not funny. Damn it, Jay. What the hell happened to waiting outside of town? I saw Mark. You know how it is. Rebecca's worth what, 10K? I went after her just like you would. Without backup? My people are expecting me home soon. Is she back there? You have people? A whole crew. But tonight it's about you and me. Bring it in. Give old Jay a hug, huh? <laughs> God, this is just like the old days. You changing your plans and me listening to your excuses. You shot a lawman, you dumbass. Two things, okay? One, don't ever talk to me like that. I mean, you know how much it bothers me when people talk to me like that. And two, don't talk to me like that. Yeah, forget about the enforcer. Things are working out beautifully. Now, where's that bartender hiding? Upstairs. Lovely. Come on, admit it. Change of plans aside, you're still happy to see me, right? Do you have what I want? I always have what you want. I mean the information. <laughs> now leave it and go before another enforcer shows up. Yeah, right. We'll call this a friendship bonus, but the old deal's off. You get what you want when I get the bartender. You're going back on your word to me? I really need this, Mari. Don't pretend like you actually care what happens to her. I know you better than that. Uh, oh, <laughs> I know what you want. You can have 20% uh, of the bounty. That should get you to your brother for sure. I don't think so, Jay. God, enough of this shit. Why won't you give her up? Because, dumbass, my job is to look after this place. 
can't let you just kidnap the bartender. So you found a new home then, huh? It's not so bad. There's one or two people I like, and I like the music. You like your people, Mari. We'll see about that. I guess your brother doesn't really matter to you after all, huh? Of course, he if he did, you wouldn't have stabbed him in the back in the first place. He's never going to forgive me if I keep making the same mistakes. I'm just going to have to be patient. Well, I'm all out of patience. Give me your gun. Do what you do best, Jay. Come here and take it. I missed how sweet you smell. Well, this is gonna be fun.
Rebecca's your friend, don't you? You should know better, Mari. You don't make friends. You're too good at hurting people. <laughs> you two know each other. Long story. I don't like being snuck up on. Get off her. You were leaving. And you're just coming along, huh? As long as nobody else gets hurt, yes. Rebecca, don't. It's my mess. I'll go. And the question becomes, what's so special about you, Miss Bartender? I know where to find a weapons cache worth more coin than you've ever seen. Bravo. We'll skip the reward and see what it's actually worth. If you do, whoever put the price on her head is going to be after you next. Oh, no. Don't follow us. Or she dies. And I'd much rather get to know her better. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be special, Mari. But now you're just pathetic. And I don't waste time on pathetic. Let's go. Listen to him, Mari. Don't come looking for a fight. You could end up in Grimgau. Shut up. Grimgau. Does anyone know what Grimgau is? Uh, Grimgau Prison. It's in Haley Province. Haley Province. That's where Rebecca just went. But why would she go to a prison? Because that's where Hideo's locked up for going AWOL. Hideo must know where the saint's house is. Oh. Rebecca's gone, isn't she? I'll get her back. I just have to see Hideo first. Do me a favor. Tell the boss the deal's still on. <laughs> sure. And don't forget. We'll play your favorite song when you get back. I hope I get to hear it. Here. Let's close out. <laughs>